सो हेलो फ्रेंड्स माय नेम इज प्रियांशु शर्मा एंड आई एम टेकिंग योर इंडियन वर्ल्ड ज्योग्राफी सेक्शन टू टारगेट यू फॉर यूपीएससी ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी प्रोग्राम सो टुडे इज द इंट्रोडक्टरी क्लास सो द एजेंडा ऑफ द टुडे क्लास इज फर्स्ट द मैथडोलॉजी ऑफ माई क्लास इन वॉट वे आई टीच यू geography second the details syllabus analysis prelims plus mains because why detailed analysis why the detailed analysis because the syllabus of prelims is not well defined just in a two to three lines syllabus is given actually so we just elaborate that section in the in there plus main syllabus we we'll discuss then third we discuss the previous year question trend topic wise ki how many questions asked from which topic and how much weightage given to that particular topic this is not the official trend the official which is given but this is made by me just for your understanding purpose and the fourth is sources and this is a concise sources which i give you just follow it vigorously for the geography section then i discuss the agenda of next class in the next class what i teach you so that you can prepare it you can read it and when i teach you you can at least understand that particular topic because in upsc the syllabus is so vast so multiple revisions are required so in that way you can revise in a multiple times now the methodology of my class so first i discuss a topic uh, for example if i take let's flood so i discuss what is flood how flood originate what are the causes and the areas which are affecting from flood this is the detailed analysis of flood then the current affair related to that debt is in which portion in which which area is affected by flood that like the question was asked in 2018 sorry in 2015 related to floods in 2015 question was asked related to floods then i give you i will give you a practice question related to that topic and then we move to the next topic and after that next topic we try to interrelate two topics because in upsc interrelation of topics is required because question is not directly asked from any topic but it's a mix sure of many topics that is economic portion and the geography portion disaster portion and the geography portion so we have to learn in a multiple dimensions so this is official syllabus of upsc you can download it, it from the upsc official website or are from our uh, telegram channel so the prelims syllabus is indian and world geography physical portion of that indian and world geography ka and social economic jo comma geogra economic geography of india and the world so here what i discuss first is world geography uh, in which we discuss geomorphology climatology oceanography that is a physical portion in economic geography 
we discuss uh, different different distribution of resources infrastructure important infrastructure and that is dams dams and uh, solar power plants and then indian geography this is just the application of world geography so whatever you learn in world geography try to interrelate it with the indian portion indian geography section the syllabus for world geography and indian geography is approximately same just this slip in world geography the whole is related to the world not into a part particular area in indian geography this is related to a particular area that is india so main syllabus of gs paper one is salient features of world physical geography that is mountains lakes plateaus volcanoes earthquake this physical section then the distribution of key natural resources across the world in that topic that is coal our resources iron ore petroleum all that we discuss then the factors responsible for the location of primary secondary and tertiary sector industries in various part of the world including india and what are the factors jo kisi particular industry ko locate karne mein responsible hote hain india ke andar aur world ke andar that we discuss in our further classes and then important geo physical and their location or and changes in critical geographical features and in flora and fauna and the effect of changes this is the official syllabus of mains so we we'll do it that regularly with the classes so just the patri why i write it there the syllabus of just the patri because major crops cropping patterns in various part of the country different parts of the different types of irrigation irrigation system infrastructure energy ports roads airport railways etc environment and biodiversity conservation environment pollution degradation environmental impact assessment disaster and disaster management this all have a geographical importance so that's why i write it here so we discuss all these topic with in the geographical importance because this is all the part of economic section of india so we discuss this is in indian geography section because question was asked in geography related to resources energy resources that is coal and also from disaster also in 2015 and 16 question was asked in geography section then now now let's discuss the detailed syllabus analysis so this is the first module there are two modules first and second the first in first module we discuss world geography and the second we discuss indian geography okay so that is geomorphology geomorphology origin of the universe Mm, that topic in that this topic we discuss the big bang theory for the origin of universe nebula theory for the origin of our solar system and structure of sun and the next topic in geomorphology is interior of the earth so in that topic we discuss the layers of the earth and chemical composition of earth then the plate 
plate tectonic theory in plate tectonic theory we discuss the concepts of convergence that is oceanic oceanic convergence continental oceanic uh, continental continental which causes earthquake and earthquake and volcanoes then earth movement endogenetic diagonal movement then types and characteristics of rocks that is igneous metamorphic ya fir uh, sedimentary rocks then folding and faulting which causes mountain building we discuss in our other classes then volcanoes and earthquake their distribution affects then weathering and erosion physical weathering biological weathering chemical weathering of rocks and erosion and deposition of that rock after weathering in any particular area that is a part of this weathering and erosion then the landforms formed by alluvial erosion air vision weathering eolin that is air fluin is water and glacier actions ki wajah se jo bhi landform form hote hain that we discuss in the climatology section latitude long longitudes indian standard time and international date line timeline then we discuss atmosphere in climatology as structure of atmosphere its composition then temperature its distribution heat budget or seasonal temperature distribution and temperature in, uh, inversion economic implication of inversion of temperature then pressure belts polar subpolar subtropical tropical equatorial belts we discuss hard cells then the wind system it is circulation of wind mm, primary winds ya yeah, planetary winds or periodic winds local winds like karnataka or chinook ya yeah, in india loo then we discuss other in, uh, clouds and types of rainfall that is clouds may cumulonimbus clouds nimbus clouds and types of rainfall orographic rainfall orographic means mountain because of the mountain cause cause uh, which causes rainfall and frontal rainfall because of the formation of front then cyclone ke how cyclones are originated how they affect what are the factors for the formation of cyclones anti cyclones we discuss anti cyclones then major climate types that is indian type sudan type mediterranean type british type china type climate and all that in oceanographic section we discuss oceanographic reef that is continental shelf continental slope continental rise trenches atolls and then the significance of oceanic reef marginal sea and uh, uh, topography of pacific indian and uh, antarctic sea then we discuss in oceanographic climate temperature distribution vertical horizontal distribution of temperature and then uh, salinity distribution of salinity with height with the, sorry with the depth then density and the interrelation between all these three topic how they are affect each other then the deposits of ocean uh, mar and then and the resources it is fishes and the uh, seafood 
then we discuss oceanic currents of different different oceans indian ocean in in pacific ocean that is and in uh, antarctic ocean all the different currents of different oceans then this topic alino and lanino is actually affects the climate as well as the ocean currents also so here we discuss all the effects of alino and lanino in the climate section and the oceanographic section then the tides formation of tides how tides are formed types of tides how they affect all that topic so now module 2 what we will discuss in module 2 is the physical features it is himalayas so that is shivalik range purvanchal himalayas great himalayas or trans himalayas their geological formation when they form their climate their vegetation their soil their biodiversity their physiographic division and the passes like shipkila pass barlacha pass which is a passage between himachal pradesh and jammu kashmir connecting mandi and himachal pradesh and leh jammu and kashmir and the significance of himalayas for the mains perspective then indian north plains how they form and their climate vegetation soil diversity and significance then peninsular plateau geological formation of peninsular plateau central highlands the portion of bundelkhand portion that is central highlands then the deccan plateau formed by the lava eruption western ghats of india eastern ghats of india how they are originate and the biodiversity of western ghats and eastern ghats and the then the indian deserts that is thar desert and the coastal plains of india that is the coastline of india gujarat maharashtra goa karnataka kerala tamil nadu andhra pradesh kolkata and the island that is lakshadweep island and the andaman and nicobar island and in then river system himalayan rivers that is ganga yamuna indus and their tributaries satluj bias ravi and in the northeastern area that is brahmaputra in sikkim tista this all river system and in peninsular india godavari krishna kaveri then in the river system next topic is river basin deltas formed by the rivers that is indian ganga brahmaputra delta biggest delta in the world uh, godavari and krishna delta hydro power projects on rivers like bagra nagra dam on satluj uh, indian climate monsoon and in monsoon what are the driving mechanism for the monsoon of india then alino lanino how alino and lanino affect indian monsoon then indian seasons spring winter summer then cyclones how cyclones affect indian climate then agriculture soils indian soils indian crops irrigation system of india natural vegetation of india and the distribution of rainfall okay, which area is affected by more rainfall at the example cherapunji is the area in the meghalaya region which 
has an uh, annual rainfall of 250 centimeter and then in indian geography economic infrastructure it is minerals industries distribution of minerals coal iron ores petroleum shale gas bauxite ores copper ore indian policies how these policies affects indian industries and their locations then transportation to connect these interstates is highway inland waterways and power for the industries in energy sector in the then conventional and non conventional source of energy and how to conserve energy this is a part of the syllabus of economic infrastructure in human geography demographic sex ratio and uh, see death rate birth rate life expectancy at birth and the recent census of 2011 this is a part of human geography syllabus so now this is a previous year trend of prelims so from the astronomy section two question was asked in prelims not directly but in options of question and the option the was one is related to singularity i think uh, and then there is no question in 1817 1615 14 2013 14, there was one question and also in 15 one question in 12 one question and in geomorphology section no question in prelims from geomorphology section 2019 in 2019 could two question was from geography uh, geomorphology section and then one one and one in 14 13 and 12 in climatology three question was in 2019 18 no question 17 one question 16 no question 15 me three question the 14 two question 13 me highest question the climatology se five questions and then second highest in 4 2011 and then third highest in 2019 maybe in 2020 20 question can be asked but see the trend of climatology section every year approximately one or two question was asked so focus very very important on for geography perspective and see the trend of agriculture section 3 4 4 5 6 4 2 4 and this is also a very very important topic hot topic and our program of doubling the farmers by 2020 2 and then the oceanography one question in 2019 no question no question no question in 2015 two question 14 no question 12 two question in 11 one question so you can focus less on oceanography section but at least read that topic because question because uh, uh, the detail of ocean is required and the concept of oceanography is required to answer question of climatology and geomorphology also because these all three topics are interrelated to each other then the industry section from industry that is in the industry uh, one question in 2019 two in 17 16 may teen question and but in economy section there was not a question from industry section infrastructure may dam three questions from 2019 and two question in 2017 from infrastructure section four in 2016 one in one and one and till then and then indian geography question regularly question was asked from the indian geography section so very very important topic For prelims, and in the location every year two four four one four six one one three every year question was asked from the location. So 
very very important just just do one thing buy a student atlas today i mentioned that in uh, your sources and see the map of physical map of india and try to learn the location because many a times question related to location was asked in, uh, as a single question also as in also in the options also of a question so now the means 2013 to 18 analysis geomorphology section say 20 marks a paper I had that is 10 10 marks each question and in 2014 30 that is 10 10 marks from all the uh, 10 10 marks three question in 15 though no question from geomorphology in 2016 12.5 marker question in 2018 two question 10 10 marks each into in climatology 20 same two questions 10 10 marks 30 two question three question 10 10 marks one question 12.5 one question 12.5 one question 10 mark then the oceanography 10 question sorry one question of 10 mark then 25 marks that is 5 5 marks question or one 10 marker one 12.5 then 15 that is one question of 10 in one question of 5 mark and 10 mark 18 so in agriculture section no question 10 one question no question no question two question of 5 5 mark one question of 10 mark and then 2018 15 that is one question of 10 mark one sorry the whole question is of 15 mark in the resources section every year one question was asked in the exhaustion portion in 2016 25 marks that is 5 5 marks sorry 10 marks one question 15 marks another question so in 2013 total 30 70 marks in 1400 and in 1800 so approximately 90 to 95 marks paper is from geography section so don't think to skip that section because not even here but in every gs paper that is gs paper 3 not in 4 in gs paper 3 uh, the question related to geography was asked in the economic section because economic geography is also in the slavers so these are the sources the best source for the preparation is syllabus and the previous year question just paste the syllabus on your study table and read it daily so that whenever you read newspaper you can link it with the syllabus and buy a pre uh, print it or buy it a booklet of last year and solve question papers previous years so that you can link all uh, you can try to answer the question come with the uh, current topic so the next source is ncrt class 11 fundamental of physical geography we read it in class 11th class 11th indian physical environment and for class 12th fundamental of human geography this all three books are for basics read it once and then the student oxford atlas very very important source buy it buy it today because four to five question was asked from the location based questions so you have to know the location in which area what are the states bounding that particular location and what are the speciality what are the features of that region so for prelims you have to go through the maps thoroughly then the hindu for currents 
the current locations and then Yojana and Kroshet this is for men's perspective in every month they publish magazine for different different topics so just read a topic for the mains and then the PMFIS notes this is a this is well suffi this is well sufficient for you know, general studies and then the census of 2011 recent center census for the population and sex ratio related to questions so this is important then the lecture most important you have to follow in that way so read basics and buy Oxford Atlas and read Hindu newspaper daily and monthly Yojana and Kurukshetra and follow PMFIS notes and the lecture that is very sufficient for the general studies for geography and this is actually our email website lavasana and root at the rate of gmail.com and our telegram and channel in root lavasana discussion so whatever your doubts and whatever questions i gave to you just mail it to that id or in this group or you can follow you go through our website labasna and root where we publish on every friday hot topic okay so this is all about it then the next agenda for the next class lecture is uh, tomorrow we will discuss the origin of universe how universe originated it is the big bang theory then solar system laplace theory for the uh, formation origin of sun so related to that in the structure of earth chrome corona and different layers of sun so that's all for today so from tomorrow we start this topic so thank you friends and follow and subscribe in root lavasana for your target for 2020 thank you